another day, another reveal on the news! Today we look at the first reveal of the commemorative series Skywalker Saga series. A few items of Funko have hit the shelves, as well as a few listings of some 10 inch Boba Fett's. And some more images of the first edition Black Series found in stores and what they look like all boxed up. All this and more coming up. Welcome to my television's toy showcase channel and today it's day five straight in a row five videos back to back to back to back to back for you guys because there's so much news going around we're so close to triple force friday there's so many reveals out there stuff's getting put on shelves too early online stores are putting stuff up on their listings too early so we're getting a little sneak peek there's still those who don't watch this who will get surprised when triple force friday comes around but you guys being collectors get the scoop so we're going to start off today checking out the commemorative series Skywalker Saga series. Now, the first thing I've got to tell you is we didn't know what scale this was. No idea. Didn't even know what it was. Yakface had a wonderful list over on his page on yakface.com. Go over and check that listing out. I'll run through the listing here for you. But let's have a look at the images. This is the first one. These are all two packs and I looked at that and I thought, what scale is that? Turns out it's 3.75 inch. This is the Vader and the Stormtrooper to start with. Pretty much probably in your collection already, I'd say. These are being slammed online as being just plain old repacks colored in gold. And that is the back of the packaging. The packaging's quite nice. The back of the pack, very nice. Ooh, yes. So that one's the New Hope that represents Vader and Stormtrooper. Next one we'll turn to is the Luke and Chewie from Return of the Jedi. Very cool. Now take note of that Chewie. <laughs> and we'll go across to the Han and Leia from Empire. And there's the Hoth Leia. Very, very lovely. Within these series that they have, the Saga series, that is Saga 1. Of course, it's the OT stuff. And then Saga 2 will be the prequel stuff, and Saga 3 will be the sequel trilogy stuff. So, guess what? I've got the Chewy. <laughs> and before you just go, wow, he got it early, let's just watch the video and see how this came about. Is it recording? Yeah. Hello. This is the Chewy. And this is the Australian export gold that we're going to spray paint Chewy. So find a good spot on this horrible winter ground. Here we go. So we'll start with the feet. I'll tell you why. Now we can. Oh, Chewy, you look amazing. He's so Mabel. Now the back. Now the back. I've got to do the head as well. Uh. I'm gonna do, there we go. Just stand there, Chewy. Take this. Oh. oh, that's sort of going in your direction. Hey, Daddy, you're getting the glass wet. I'll mow that away. Daddy, oh. why is Doc getting Mabel? Is he done? Is he gold? I think. Yeah? Maybe he's gold. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> you sell? Yes. So now, part of my collection, two golden chewies. <laughs> Didn't have to spray paint this one. Very, very cool. Um, yes, Funko do this. Now Hasbro do this. Can you blame them? They, other companies make money doing it. They want to do it. I love them or hate them. They're the commemorative series. That's what they're going to be. And for all these wondering, so does that mean we actually have some 3.75 inch figures for Rise of Skywalker? 
Yes, and they're all going to be droids. It's going to be a combination of C-3PO, RTD2, DO, or one of those. There could be BB-8 included as well. So that's what we're going to have when we get to that saga pack. There's three lots of sagas, obviously. This today we've shown you is the first wave, or the first saga. They're pretty, but people aren't too impressed by them. But hey, the packaging is nice. Gold! I'll need that meme. Gold! I love gold! Close up on the Skywalker Saga logo is this. That will be on all the packaging. You'll know that's a commemorative series when you see that. Don't know if they're making any more past this line that I've just read out here. If they're making anything beyond what they've got here. Past two packs, nothing yet. Just We know there's two packs, that's it so far. But that's the logo that'll be on all of it. These ones should be available pretty much anyway. I'm going to say Walmart's, Targets, Big W's, Entertainer, you name it. These should be pretty common. They'll drop them out uh, supposedly for Triple Force Friday. This will be there in stores for you to collect. I don't think it says anything about it being exclusive to anywhere. It's going to be common. It's probably because we had The Last Jedi Chewie. Then they repacked him into the first wave of Galaxy Adventures. And now he's getting spray painted gold and put into this one. So pretty much those figures, the same kind of deal. What do you do when people don't buy your figures? You paint them gold. I love gold! <laughs> okay, now moving on to Funko. Funko Pops. Now, three of them dropped today. And of course, out there in the world, we'll start off with the what the new packaging looks like. There it is. Kylo and Rey. Kylo with his red lines through the helmet. Rey in her nice white outfit. It's funny how those ones, have, we've seen those characters, so that image comes out first. The packaging with the yellow in it now, the yellow and the black. Very cool. Another one we're going to share with you is the BB-8. Looks a little bit different, a little bit skinny around the middle. Maybe they slim him down somehow, I'm not sure. But then we had a picture of the back of the packaging, and this is much better because we know who's coming in the series for the Triple Force Friday. So there's Rey and Kylo on the top. Finn with his new hairstyle. Poe Dameron with his new outfit. New character Zori Bliss. New character Dio. Old man Lando. There's the BB-8 we just saw before. There's Jaina, the new character. That looks pretty damn cool. I like that. Look, that's, that's epic. Rose in a different outfit. She looks very pretty there. Sith Trooper. Yes. First Order Jet Trooper, yes, and Sith Jet Trooper. So pretty much you're going to get two pops there, one red, one white. And drum roll for this one, Lieutenant Comics. Oh my god, they've actually got a Funko Pop of her. So now we have a Lego version of her, a Funko Pop of her. Please, Hasbro, do an action figure of her, please. Please, Vintage Collection, Black Series, just chuck her in there. She needs to be in there. Billy Lord, I'm watching out for you. We have some information about the pops where it looks like there's like 30 on the way. So that's our first little, you could say, wave of them for Funko. Very cool. Also, some images of a 10-inch pop. Not just any 10-inch pop, it's a Boba Fett. This one here has two versions. Check this out. 10-inch Boba Fett listed on a Taiwan online toy store. First one is the red and the black. So he's a red pop with the black markings on him. And we also have the black pop with the red markings on him. Doesn't say if any, either of them are a chase or a store exclusive, but there's two of them. Identical reverse images. 10 inches, so it's a big one. And also features this logo across the helmet. That's why I wore the shirt today. Brilliant. The Mandalorian logo. These ones here in Australia go for about 80 bucks. They are not cheap. Each, that is. In the US, you'll look at them about $29.95. So let's talk about the first editions. The first edition Black Series has been spotted again. This comes via yakface.com. These were found in a Target store in Glendale, California. So this is the first time we've seen them all together. And so that shop down in Puerto Rico, the guy took photos of each individually. There they are together. And there's one that we hadn't seen before, Cal Kestis. Zoom in on him. First time we've seen him in the packaging. So we know he comes in the first editions. This is the actual box that comes in. So the box there, it does say in the corner there, stop, do not put on the shelf before October 4, 2019. 
but SW for Star Wars, S2 Black Series, six inch figures assorted. That has changed a little bit from previous boxes. If you know anything about when you go into a store and see these, they do vary in what they say on the side. And the next image is the eight in the case, all white first editions. And look at that, it's in one of those target trolleys, or you guys call them carts. Or in you guys in New Zealand call them trundles. You guys in the UK, I don't know what you call them. You know the thing you push around and put stuff in in the shops? <laughs> we call them trolleys here. Awesome, one per case, eight in the box. First editions look exciting. I hope they come to my country. Anyway, last thing I want to tell you, and I usually do a bit of a subscriber shout out, but different. Because now, we surpass 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> Finally, thank you so much, guys. It's very, very wonderful to feel like my community is getting larger. I can fill a small basketball stadium now. That's how many of you guys are watching me regularly, subscribe to me, smashing the bell, all that sort of thing. Thank you so much. I do my best to get the news to you as quickly as possible. I know if you're an Instagrammer, you can just go, there's image, bang. But to make a video takes a long time. It's just putting it all together. So. Some of you already see the images before I tell you about them, but I'm glad you're still tuned in because, you know, I love to hear your feedback down in the comments below. What you like, what what do you find appalling, what is the best thing they're doing at the moment, you know, all the good stuff. That's the community I build here, that's what I like to share with you guys, so thank you very much. That'll do it today. Thank you for watching, my affiliate is Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles. For all your Star Wars, Marvel, DC, WWE and sci-fi needs check him out today link in the description down below if you want to buy a shirt check out my merch all the shirts you see on the screen are available from my red bubble store clicking the link down below and purchasing something from the store helps out the channel so thank you very much if you'd like to follow me on social media I'm on Twitter at usual Mike 30 or on Instagram at usual Mike television if you'd like to send some fan mail it's P.O. Box 957, Lisbon, New South Wales, 2480 Australia. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, Ooh. tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best. Choo.